check this out guys i got the keys to a big black ss chevelle it's got a 454 a turbo 400 uh we're just getting things going our temp is looking good all my gators are working i want to feel this thing here look at the flapper open up man a little bit of that cowl induction be careful you get carried away real quick um this thing's gripping good rear end everything feels tight Turn one. It's a, a lot of mass moving around a corner. It did pretty good. That is smooth. A really, really linear power band. You can tell, you can feel the torque, really. Um, no sputter, no hesitation, no hiccup. They were really ironed this one out. Too. So our brakes and steering feel great. Suspension feels pretty tight, no clunks, no bangs. The exhaust is working fabulously. Wow. Yes, please. Um, I've always been a big four speed guy, but it is really nice to just be able to throw it in and go. Man, this thing's so cool. Your, uh, your high tech radio is working good. All the gizmos and gadgets are working good in this thing. We're gonna kick it back to the shop here, get you guys a closer look. I think we jump right in and take a look under the hood. Gorgeous set of stripes on here. <sighs> Showroom fresh, damn. Yeah, I guess this is why they call it a big black, man. That's a monster in there. The um, 454 putting out plenty, plenty of horsepower. Um, I think it's right around the 500 horsepower range. So we got a GM Performance aluminum intake manifold. The correct chrome uh, valve covers, motors painted up the way it should be. And if you take a look down at the front drive, everything is billet on this sucker. Um, one, that's some cool bling, but two, it's lightweight. It uses uh, less horsepower to make turn. And then we got our dual master cylinder, our power steering pump here. This thing's sweet. And a nice big old Holly four barrel. This is a beast. And otherwise, pretty stock. That closed up really nice. That fits great. Um, paint on this car. This is a real high-end driver quality paint is where I'd, I'd put it. Um, our bright work here and the wheel arch molding looks good. The BFGs, boy. Yeah, those, those with the SS wheels look great. Um, that's a brand new tire in the front. Um, I believe we've got a seven inch wide rim and it's a 225. Um, R15, got our SS454, straight lines, very clean gaps. We got a couple of little flies cruising around here tonight. Um, quarters are laser straight like glass. Take a look at that meat we got out back here. So it's a, a on an eight inch rim, it's a 275. Um, fills it out nice. This has got a good old school muscle car stance and is the kind of tire this car needs making this sort of power. Um, deck lid all fits very nice. The vinyl top looks tight everywhere. Little bugs here. But these stripes are buried nice into the clear. And you might see a couple smudges in the paint here from me touching it, but very very smooth all around nice clean deck lid you got uh, some factory stickers in here um, pretty nice detail work I don't see uh, any metal signs of any metal repair that is um, pretty clean still see these factory spot welds factory appearing at least 
Yeah, I think those are the original quarters on here. It's a solid car. These tires do it for me. These things look awesome on here. Very clean, very clean all the way around. Man, and a total missile at that. What I dig about this car, I love the 70 Chevelle. You don't see a ton of them in this color. They're red, they're black. This is really cool, it's different. Sweet, sweet, doors open up nice. Look at these door cards. Um, real clean, SS badges, got window cranks, chrome handles, all that good. Pretty well detailed. Uh, the door seals look to be newer. If you look inside the interior here, you see we got the bucket seats, a console, got that SS steering wheel, very nice set of instruments there. All our gauges look nice. This car shows just 19,748 miles. Um, you notice our analog clock is working good. We have an updated, it's one of those retro sound radios in here. So classic styling, but uh, some modern, modern noise is what that makes. Our fan controls, we got a nice dash pad. Floor mats underneath here. Carpet all looks very nice. Now we take a look in the back. Not much going on back here. Uh, beautiful little bench. Nice little quarter cards. Got ashtrays for everybody. Um, headliner looks pretty damn good. Got the factory shoulder belts up above my head. And the package tray. Looks like there's uh, two speakers up there. Guys, appreciate you making it to the end with us. I'm gonna share a couple things. They're both pretty important, so tune in. First off, we teamed up with You Can Survive. This is a local nonprofit that raises money for cancer research. We're actually giving away a classic car. It's a 1975 Ford Bronco. It could be yours. All you gotta do is buy a raffle ticket. So I'll put a link down at the bottom of this video to their website over there, You Can Survive. You don't have to stop there. You can buy a shirt, a hat, you can make a donation, whatever. It's a cool cause. We are really have to be teamed up with them. So definitely take a look. And then lastly, this 70 Chevelle is for sale. Um, we got a lot more info on it, a bunch of pictures, some stamping, some close-ups. This thing even has the original build sheet, which is crazy. Uh, it's a real big block, SS. Check out the link at the bottom for our website as well. You'll see the full listing. Thank you from LaFontaine Classic Cars, 248-714-2110. You can call us up anytime. Uh, like, subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video.